east of Asia, they can join us. Look like the gentleman is calling. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello, Slavaka. Is it Christian Prince? Yes, this is a Christian Prince. How are you? Oh, nice to meet you. I'm good. I've been listening to your videos and I've got a question for you, if that's okay. Yeah, no problem. But we have a topic today. Do you want to share with us? Um, is the topic what's the topic? It's about your prophet. Okay. Oh, you know, in Islam, who is the one who makes decision? Is it Allah? Is it the Prophet? Who? Allah. Where do you get <clears throat> where do you get this from? <clears throat> does it say um, does it say uh, does it say really that Allah or it says that Allah and Muhammad is the one who make decision? Oh, you're talking about the verse if Allah and the Prophet make a rule for you, it is not for you to question it, just uh, obey and follow. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> okay, so maybe he's making the Prophet authority for the Muslims. Why? But ultimately, for the universe is Allah. Yeah, but how but why? how the verse says that if Allah and the Messenger, they make a decision for you, you take it as it is, as you said. Who is Muhammad yeah. to make decision for the believers? He's a prophet, no? Yeah, but why he is why you are putting the name of Allah? He's the Allah's name? messenger. Does oh, because um, hmm. it becomes shirk, doesn't it? If you say like that. Yeah, it is shirk because you it's are special. saying because you are saying it is Allah and the messenger. If they make the a decision for you, okay, yeah. okay, how they make decision to you? If only Allah is in control, why Muhammad <laughs> is associating himself with no. Allah? To the point he and Allah they sit together, they discuss together, and they make a decision. When you say Allah and the Messenger, they make decision. You are you are saying it clearly, like if I say me and you, we made a decision, that's mean the people do understand that me and you we agree to do this, correct? Correct. Okay. So that's mean Allah and Muhammad they agree to do this. Who is Muhammad to agree with Allah? I mean mm -hmm. Muhammad is, maybe is, Allah is giving him the message for the Sahabas, to, like say for example, to make alcohol haram. Hmm. He's told the Prophet, you know, um, do not drink in stages. You know, slowly, slowly. Okay, yeah, it's benefit, hmm. maybe not good, hmm. and then don't come with your prayers drunk. And then hmm. slowly, so the uh, Allah and the Prophet, they you would talk to each other, and then the verse will be revealed. It's like whatever happened in Muhammad's life, the Quran is according to that. You see, the Muslim you know? they always present to us that Muhammad and Allah they are in love. In love, he's the uh, Ruh, the Habibullah. Habibullah, right? He is, he is, he is uh, like uh, Allah is in Close love with, love with yeah, Allah, Allah, he is in love with Muhammad. And but I, and I find question. this is my question, Christian Prince, hmm. because I wanted to ask you this because uh, listening to your other videos with the other sheikh, but he turned out to be a potato because you asked him a question saying that is the word of Allah eternal and he couldn't agree that if his eternal is not part of his attribute and then the other guy my friend my friend they, they weren't really answering your questions because the way you were saying it it's like it, it does because it does make me th question islam because i'm now thinking that maybe allah is a female hmm. well i'm thinking about that to too because you see because allah and muhammad they are in love too i mean if you if you look at the at the at the verse we are quoting together and you agree that the Quran all over and Islam teach that Allah is in love with Muhammad, but not necessarily Allah is a is a is a female, but Allah maybe a male, but they are they are in love. Muhammad and, no, and I read the Hadith Qudsi. You accept, um, we in Islam Hadith Qudsi is from Allah, right? The hmm. Prophet he does speak of his own. Yeah. So it says narrated Um Salama, Hadith number eight four seven. Mm -hmm. Wife of the Prophet said that God's messenger, may God's peace and blessing be upon him, said, The womb is a derivative of God that clings to the loin of the Lord and asks God for its rights. So what mm. does this mean? Well, this you is this me. is this is the you see that in the old in, in, in before Islam, uh, uh, people they believe that the womb of the women, the womb mm. of the Raham. women, yes, Raham. It is it, yeah. it is the womb of of God, you know, like women when she well, gets. Rahma, Rahma means mercy as well. So yeah, but this Arabic is by is a rich language. but this is by time. The Arabic is not really Arabic is a rich language, but Arabic is not really Arabic. Arabic is a is a collection of languages, but number one collection is coming from the is, Aramaic. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, the word Rahma Rahman is coming from the Aramaic, you know, and even the Christians mm -hmm. they use that word, but doesn't mean anything. It's about. Uh, 
it, it have a connection for the old days when the Aramaic they used to be pagan. Yeah, you know, it have a connection. But it's, but it's not far, is it? It's not far. It doesn't mean vagina. Uh, no, the the rahma, the rah, the rahm is where the 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 baby, you know, uh, is there. But you need to remember that in the old days, people they uh, even the Arab, like the black stone, the black stone, is what even the the tafsir says that the black stone was was white, but the 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 uh, women, but, but women I, blood. I, I read the Quran. I do not find the black stone in the Quran. It's not mentioned there. You know the verse. Yeah, but because this is, you see, this is something Muhammad later. If you notice, Muhammad, he was hmm. praying for many years toward J Jerusalem, right? Right. And then when he became I victorious, which means at the end, he became victorious in Mecca. Uh, he changed the direction because it was a necessity of money. You know, Muhammad. Why? What do you mean money? Because, because, because to because generate the, income to the Mecca, to the Kaaba, because the Kaaba became it's like imagine if I force everybody to go to Las Vegas today, right? To make money, generate money, yeah, okay. Yeah. So it's like a pilgrimage became to make money, that's why Saudi Arabia is rich now because of the pilgrimage. Otherwise, you see, it would just Saudi Arabia land. for the last 14 centuries, especially let us see, after, after uh, Islam is not powerful and uh, the caliphate, they are not making money from attacking the neighbors. Saudi Arabia, their only one income they have is the Kaaba. Yeah. Because there was and no oil. oil. There was no oil. Then after the oil, you know, things have changed. But until now, imagine if if there is two million people, they go during the Hajj time, right? And every every one of them, he spend an average of four to five thousand dollars between airline ticket because the, even the government they make they make a percentage from this uh, airline. So between airline ticket and between hotel and spending money and buying gifts, so if we if we but how do you know these hadiths are real? Because it came two hundred and fifty years after Imam Bukhari he didn't even live in Kaab, Mecca. So what, how do we know this is authentic? What, even the what hadith? Books. What hadith you are talking about? And any hadith, any the whole, the whole Sahih my Bukhari friend. How we know written. even how we know even the Quran is Sahih because the Quran is is not is uh, is uh, <laughs> the hadith is older than the Quran. In case you do not know. Uh, uh, How, who wrote the Quran? Then? There's no Quran. Where is the Quran? Do you know the Quran? Quran I have it. No, I have the you Quran. Don't, no, you don't have the Quran. This is this is the Quran written according to someone recitation of Hafs, but nobody have the Hafs. book of Hafs. <laughs> where is the book of Hafs? Hafs in Asim? Yeah, where is the book of Hafs? No, no one has this uh, manuscript. Nobody like, have uh, a book of Hafs. No, nobody. They have well, a copy. They Tashkent have. They have a copy. Tashkent. They have a copy in Egypt. They claim it's three hundred years. After Muhammad, which means in the in the at the end of the 18th yeah, century, they have copies in Samarkand, Birmingham manuscripts. What about those? They are they different. Have, uh, some, uh, the Birmingham is one page. You know, I mean, this is not manuscript, and even that one is not the same as the Quran today. But uh, the Quran of Samarkand is big, big different between the Quran of Samarkand and the Quran. Of, even that one is not really that old. Uh, okay, so there's, there's which, the Quran of uh, uh, hold on. There's the Quran of uh, of uh, of Sanaa in Yemen. They found it. It's totally different from the Quran, which they have it today. But even all of them, they are not old still, but they are so different. So if Quran. everyone knows this, if everyone knows this, why people don't leave Islam then? What do they you mean? Know, if who said they know? How many Muslims do know what even Islam is about? Ninety-nine percent of Muslims they do not know what Islam. I, I, will, I will explain to you why. You the let me ask me. Let, you asked the question you. to someone when he came in. He said, um, he said he's a Muslim, and you asked him. What does it mean to be Muslim? And he couldn't answer because he he told you it means someone to submit to the will of Allah. This is not why is this not correct? Because not there's the, the, the word submit is not exist in Islam. Islam, Islam. No, you see, even the word Islam is a is a is a is a theft. Muhammad, they, they, have you ever heard of a guy? His name is uh, Musaylama. The Muslim they call him Musaylama. But this is not his name. You know, they make fun of him. His name is Muslim. They change oh. his, they change his name and they start making fun of him. They say Musaylama. Musaylama in Arabic is like you say a car, a, a, a caro, like to make fun of the car, like it's a small car, you know. Like you say Rajul Rujail, like to make fun of a man, you know. So you make him right. like you, you give him a a, a a small name, like a nickname. Yeah, like a nickname mm -hmm. to insult. See, so this guy he claimed to be a prophet. His name is Muslim, and now even in Islamic history books they change the name. And his, you know, and his God, his name is he, he, he you know, he called himself a Rahman. If you go, mm. if we go, me and you, mm. uh, if we go right now and we check the following, let us see.
I don't have the YouTube open, so I cannot see. Uh, it's the okay. Screen. It's okay. No problem. No problem, my friend. No problem. Okay. If we go here. Oh, this website is not working. There's a the, there is a verse in the Quran where it says have, to Allah all the good names. Have you ever heard of the name of the of the verse? Um, yeah. Allah, Allah, yes, this one. No, no, no. All the good names. No. no. Uh, and name. They asked Muhammad once mm -hmm. he decided to write the word Ar Rahman. Before mm -hmm. that, he never mentioned that word. So they said to him, who is a Rahman? Muhammad, now he have two God, Allah and the Rahman. So Muhammad, uh, uh, if you go and read the story, you will find that Muhammad, he was, uh, he received a letter from this guy, the one but, your Muslims okay. call him, re, re, hold on, hold on. The one they call him, Musaylama. They said to mm -hmm. him, what is the name? They said to him, why you are calling like your God a Rahman? It says, Say, the reply? say, I call him Allah or I call him Rahman. Whatever I call him, all the good names belong to him. And this is telling you that Muhammad yeah. is a false prophet. Why? Because, uh, how? How? because simply, this is chapter 17, verse 110. So until now, Muhammad, he never, he never uh, uh, remember that the God name is a Rahman. And now suddenly he said, Rahman, why? He received a letter from that guy who is, his name is Rahman al Yamama, which you call him Musaylim al Kadhab, which means Musaylim al Surah 17, Surah 17, yeah? 17 yeah, chapter 17, verse 110. And those who believe not in the hereafter for whom we have prepared a painful doom. This is chapter. No, Surah, Surah, 17. Surah 17, verse 110. Oh, 110, sorry, sorry. Yeah. 110. Say to mankind, call to Allah or call to the beneficent. To whichever you call, it is same. Hmm. His are the most beautiful names. Okay. And you, Muhammad, be not loud in those words. Hmm. Here, you see, yeah. you see, if, if Allah <laughs> is the name, is if, uh, if Muhammad, you see. But Allah is a word mean God. No, Allah is a Allah name. Is name. No, no, it's a name, my friend. It's a name. The word God. Al-Ilah, al Allah. No, no, Al-Ilah, different word. Al-Ilah is an Aramaic word. Mean uh, uh, il la il la, which you see, like uh, like in the uh, same in Arabic, we say ar rab the al al al, you know, uh, in Arabic is uh, uh, the, but in the old yeah. language, in the old language, al is a word meaning God, and sometimes the word appear in the a beginning, -L -L. Huh? yeah, but e -L is a word. no, uh, el later became el in the uh, even in oh. ancient uh, uh, Hebrew. In the beginning, like Israel was not Israel, it was Israel. Uh, uh, Ishmael was not Ishmael, it was Ishmael. Okay. Uh, oh, so the language evolved over time. This is what you're saying. Yeah, the ancient, in the ancient Hebrew, it was A L, not E A L. So by time it became A L. But the, the, the name of the God of Islam keep the old word, the old Aramaic word, which A L. So. But who is the pagan God of Islam? It was Hubal, not Allah. So how can. Hubal, you see, Huba, Huba, Al. Al is the word mm. mean God, same as Baal, 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 you know? Uh, uh, yeah. So yeah. Uh, uh, Al is a word inside the, the name of Allah, and that uh, uh, that will lead us to Al. And uh, if you go to chapter one, verse number two, it says Alhamdulillah lil lah. Okay. Li in Arabic mean two. Lah is the name of your God. Did you ask yourself what happened to Allah? There, but you don't say it because. But you know Arabic grammar. This is how it is, isn't it? To connect the words. No, 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 no. This is not how, because in Arabic grammar you cannot take you cannot take letters from a name. It doesn't matter what the grammar. So you are saying Allah means the la. My friend, la. my friend. If 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 the name, if if it's a name, all of it is a name. You cannot take letters from it. There's no grammar can change it. You know. True, true, true. Okay, okay you're right. You're right. Because yeah. you can't. Yeah, but um, the letter J didn't exist in the Bible. But yeah, you say Yeshua is Jesus. It evolved no, like this. No, J, J. Okay, this is not. This is not a change in the name. This is making equivalent. Like because they don't have the letter, what they can do? You know, like mm -hmm. you, you cannot say. You cannot say. They cannot say Yeshua as an example in Arabic. I say Yeshua, in the Hebrew Yeshua. Why? Because in in the same uh, like the same as any dialect, 
sometimes the scene appear as sheen. But you said the name is the name. You said the name is the name. You can't change the name. You no cannot change. No, you cannot so change. You cannot, you cannot change. No, you cannot change. But and this is not a change, by, by the way, because this is the same name. But Yeshua, Jesus, totally different. No, it's not Yeshua, actually. It's it's Yeshua, you see, because you cannot pronounce it Da'in. So they say Yeshua, Yeshua, Yeshua. but it is Yeshua, Yeshua. So uh, uh, some nations, they cannot pronounce the name because they don't have equal letter. Okay. Okay. Makes now, sense. Like in the Arabic, no P in it. Like yeah. a Same time, like if you go in the Quran today, translation, they say Isa, they say Jesus, right? Yeah. But, but there's no Jesus in the Quran. It's Isa, right? And if we ask yes. who is Isa, nobody knows. We never heard of Isa. Not, not oh, Isa, Isa ibn Maryam. Yeah, but we never heard, you know, in Arabic. We know who is Isa. Not a single Arabic Isa, Christian. Isa, Isa, it should be Yeshu, isn't it? Yeshu. No, Isa is a wrong name. We don't know where Muhammad is coming from, but maybe Muhammad is trying to copy from the Greek, you know, uh, uh, of Isa. So he trying to copy such a name from the Greek. But this is telling us again that Muhammad is a false prophet, because if Isa. If Muhammad he chose, look if you look at the Quran, you will see Muhammad he chose two Greek names, the Injil and the Isa. Yeah. Okay. If Isa Injil is a is Greek name, okay. Why because the Injil is a Greek, it is a Greek book. Yeah, but Muslims they believe that Isa was sent to the Hebrew. Yeah. But <laughs> so, you know the so, old New Testament was written in Greek. No, my friend, yeah, but no, 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 no. Hold on, hold on. Not not the old testament, the new testament. The old testament yeah, the then yeah, okay. but but yeah, listen, so but, 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 but listen, but okay, but listen, but listen. Isn't it the Quran says to you that we never send a messenger except in the language of his people? True. Okay. And, 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 and Muslims, they keep repeating that Isa was sent to the Jews. So how he sent to the Jews, yet he speak to them in Greek? Because? Mm -hmm. Because? He's just saying the book is, the book is, name is in Greek, in Jil. Right? No, no, no. Okay, no. But the, the, the name. Have you ever heard of a of a, a name of a book in Chinese, but the inside is English? No, but the New Testament was written in Greek. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That's that's mean Muhammad. That's mean Muhammad. Muhammad. You are right. But Muhammad, the New Testament, first of all, is written in three languages, major three languages, and there are other languages. But this is not the question. The question is, if Isa is sent to the Hebrew, why his name? Who is the one who gave the name? The name, is it Allah oh, or Isa? Hebrew. Allah. Is it Allah is the one who gave it the name? But Isa is not really his name either. It no, no, no. Be Emmanuel, Hold on, no. don't, 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 no. don't mess things, things around. Focus with me. Who is the one who named the book of Isa in Jil? Is it Isa or Allah? Allah. This is his book. Correct. It is the book of Allah, supposedly. Okay. So why Allah he chose? Why Allah he chose a Greek name for a Hebrew a, a, a messenger? One second, Christian Prince. Sorry. Yeah. What? No, no, no. I'll, I'll, I'll come back later. Yeah, I'm busy. I'm having a debate. Yeah. Oh, well, are we on YouTube right now? Yeah. Do you hear what I mean? Uh, uh, do, do you understand what I said? Yeah, I did. I did. Because, but uh, we know that the Bible was written by men, inspired by God. So this is what God is saying. It's His book, but He inspired it through the. My men. friend, doesn't matter. But doesn't matter. The name, the name, uh, Allah book is not is not uh, according to Islam. There's nothing. It's called the Bible written by man, inspired by God. Islam believe that every word sent is sent by Allah word by word. They don't believe. No, that's only for the Quran. Only for the Quran we believe. This. No, 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 the... no, 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 no. Everything is inspiration from Allah. You can't tell me why. You can't tell me what the Muslims believe. That this is the belief. You, because you do not know, know what you believe. You know, since when you know what believe? If I ask you now, what Allah means? Do you know? Allah is the God. Where it gets from? What do you mean the God? I'm asking you what it means. I'm not asking you the God. I know that this is the name of your God. What what the name mean? What the name mean? Yeah, that's what I I don't know. I don't know. See, here we what go. Do so you... don't tell me that uh, how you they teach the Muslims. I don't know. If what I ask you, you if I ask you what if I ask you what Isa mean, do you know? Isa. Yeah. Harry. What are you, Harry? What what? Isa comes from the Harry. What Harry mean? Harry, you Harry. have hair. Harry. <laughs> yeah, <man. laughs> that's funny 
if, if, if I'm not an Arabic speaker, my friend, so okay. I don't know. Okay, I'm, not even not in the, not only you. All the Muslims do not know what Israel means. They do not I'm, know. I'm from what, Bangladesh. What Abraham? I, I what Abraham to... mean? What Abraham mean? They don't know what Jibril mean. They don't know what Israel mean. They don't know what Mikhail name because Abraham it's not. Means it's... Someone, Abraham means like someone who crossed over to the other part. But yeah, not yeah, this name. Abraham yeah, you are Abraham. watching me. I understand, but this is not in Islam. Yeah. You learned that from me. Yeah, I did. I did. Too. Okay, so what, <laughs> what, what, what is the answer in Islam? What is the answer in Islam? There's no answer. So Islam, don't tell me that you want to teach me my religion. Yes, I will teach you religion. Even the Muslims, they do okay, not so know. Can can, even even so the Muslims. Look, look, the, the let me show you. Let me show you how foolish Islam is. Do you know the, fa the father of Abraham, what his name in the Quran? It's Azhar. Azhar. Okay. Azhar. The Bible. Azhar. Is a word mean foolish or fool? Yeah. How this has became a name in the Quran for the father of Abraham? Chapter 67, know. verse number 4. Can you read for me, please? The Muslims, because they don't know what this word means, and including Muhammad, they said, okay, well, this is, must be the name of the father of Abraham. But Muhammad is copying it from someone else's book. So Who he, did he copy from? He copied from Muraqad al Copy. But how did Warakad know all these um, things? You know, the Warakad even the Hadith confirmed that Warakad Nofal was translating from yes, the Bible, from yes, from the Aramaic into the uh, Arabic. And this yeah, is the, but the Quran mentions a lot of it mentions a lot of things like the you know the gestation period of the baby in the womb. Uh, you know, this is like why the, the, this is this is why it's stupid. Why is it stupid? It's because science. we will talk about that. No problem. Let's finish this one. Okay. Uh, Abraham said to his father Azar, you see the Muslim didn't translate the word Azar. Why? Because they think this is a word. It's a name of the father of Abraham. Hmm. Okay, but this is a word mean foolish and that makes sense. Put it in contact. Lou Abraham said to his father foolish. Are you going to worship yeah. false gods? Makes sense. Okay, so the, the okay. idiots, the idiots in Islam, including Muhammad, I'm not, not insulting. I'm saying what I believe. He took the word from the book of Waraka. He put it there. He did not know what Azar mean. He keep it as it is. He thought it's a name. Azar, what does it mean foolish in Arabic? No, it's an Aramaic language. Aramaic language. Yeah, because oh, the Bible is, yeah, because obviously this is a waraka. He learned Aramaic, you know, and he knew. Uh, he, 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 but he, in the Quran, a, a, does Allah not say Logat al Arabiya, the Quran, in the best Arabic? The Quran have nothing in Arabic. Even the word Quran is not Arabic. There is nothing in Arabic. It's called Quran. This is false word. This does not exist. It's a citation. Iqra from Iqra. no Iqra. Even Iqra. even the word Iqra is not Arabic. It's it's an Aramaic. From Qarra Waraa. Qarra. It's you. You say something with your lips. Raa is something you see something with your eyes. So Qaraa. But there's nothing. It's called Quran. There's nothing. It's called Quran. Quran is a wrong word. It's like in Arabic we say Akala uh, yakulu uh, aklan. You don't say aklanan. You know. So Qaraa Qaraa. Uh, uh, is the word which is coming from the Aramaic? Yeah, but then Quran is a, is a funny word. At the same time, uh, uh, everything in this religion, as you see, is based on a man who claimed that he and his God they make decision, and this is shirk. You know, when when you accept that Muhammad and Allah, if they make a decision for you, Muslims, I mean, if I am a man who is obedience to God, and I am just a messenger of God. Why I'm putting my name in Quran? Who is the one saying that there? Allah Himself, supposedly. Obviously, Muhammad is inserting the name of his God next to his name to give himself a holy, uh, 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 holy uh, maybe. Uh, uh, position. Holy power. Yeah. So now, so now, whatever well, Muhammad maybe. he say. Otherwise, hmm. who is the one who decide? If we ask any Muslim, who is the one decide? Like I asked you, you said to me, Allah. But as you see, it is not for a believing men, and all of all of it is about sex. If you go and see, it's about sex. All the things Muhammad he, he gave himself power right away when the, its connection with sex. Zainab ibn Tujahish. Allah, if, if you search for the word Qada, you know, you will find that Qada. Qada, qada minha Zaydun wa taran. Qada, here we go, the same word. Wa qada Allahu wa rasulahu. Allahu wa rasulahu. And if the Prophet and Allah, Allah and the Messenger they made a decision, Allah and the Messenger made a decision, how that can be? Okay, maybe like a king, he gives the order to his servant. No, my friend, it says no. It says Allah and his messenger have decided the matter. You see, if I am a messenger, I don't decide. That's true.
but here it says Allah and the messenger they decide the matter so how Allah can be God and Muhammad is a prophet obviously both so of them they are did God, God so yeah. did God and Jesus not um, agree upon each other you know when uh, Jesus was in the garden of Gethsemane and he's asking Lord Lord take this cup from me whatever and then no they, it's uh, not, God, you see okay let me let me ask you about this you see we as a Christian we believe in the Trinity and Jesus okay. here Jesus here uh, uh, you know, always Jesus, when he is on earth, he called himself the son of a man. But uh, we know that in Christianity and in, in Islam, Jesus is a son of no man, correct? Correct. Okay. Yeah. But he called himself the son of a man, which means why, while I am in the flesh son of, of man a man. Son of man as a title, the, as, a, he, as a description he, of his format, that he's a, he's a, he's in the flesh, he's in the flesh. Okay. Yeah. But he is the son of no man. So, uh, uh, always he speak about himself in such a way but in the same time he say that everything i have is given to me from the father and he he, he confirmed that he is obedient to the father so yeah but how, my father and your father it's okay the same. no no said, no 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 I I, even that one because because jesus here is speaking to them you see uh, uh, we believe that jesus have two nature in the same time the nature of a man and the nature of god so the messiah 100 listen, listen, and 100 yeah listen, listen. It's when logical. when when uh, uh when the jews always they talk to him what if i talk if i if the messiah came to me and he's a man i'm not mm -hmm. going to understand what he's saying to me by saying to me i'm god you know like he's a man I mean, I see a man in front of me. So, what do you mean you are, you know? So, in yeah. order to 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 present himself in a way which Muslim people will not uh, uh, go in chaos, because you know he, he will get killed in the first day if he says, "I am God." I mean, immediately. But he did but get killed. He got killed. He got killed. Years. He got killed because he was, he, you know, it's it's a mission. You know, he have to finish it. And it when the time was to die? when the time no, the mission is not to die. The mission is to deliver what God is about to teach us and he did and this is why in the cross he said it's completed it's complete so if Jesus didn't if Jesus didn't die on the cross would it still be okay for Christianity if you see he didn't you die, see uh, it's, it's Christianity Christianity is not based on the cross only the Christianity is yeah. based on Jesus so if he die or not that will not really change much except that we believe that anything Jesus he did he did it for us so the cross happened so the cross happened for us uh, he he came to the earth. He came for us. He healed the people to show us his his power and his. But his he ability. came two thousand years ago. You know, for us right now, that's back in the past. It's, it's an instance in the past that happened two thousand years ago. Still now, until now, this, uh, my friend. Still until now, there's tons of miracles happening in the name of Jesus, and they are real around the world. And me myself, I witnessed some of them. So we we you know we have a we have God who do not need witnesses for he witnessed for himself. Not the same as Muhammad. No witnesses at all. Even the angel came to him. Nobody saw the angel. A guy, he came to Muhammad. He asked him a few questions. He left. After he left, Muhammad, he said, do you know who is this guy? They said, who? He said, this is Jibreel. I mean, what a joke. So how did these people not see this man again and then say, oh, you're Jibreel. I'll trap him. You know, they, there would have been another story. Well, in the hadith, you know? was, they saw him again. You know, there's Muhammad. They uh, Muhammad, he fabricated stories. Yes. And, you know, Muhammad, he got busted. So how would you not be my if friend, he's lying my friend, so much? Have you ever, have you ever, hold on, hold, have you ever of a guy, his name is Dahil Kalbi? Never. Dahil Kalbi is in Jibreel. <laughs> Dahil Kalbi. Kalbi is the same guy, bad. Muhammad, he sent <laughs> him, he sent him to the king of the Roman in Jerusalem to, to, to carry his letter. He was the most oh. handsome man in Quraysh, and he was oh. the boyfriend of Muhammad. Here we go. Read, read with me carefully. It says that the Hail Kalbi, mm -hmm. that Jibreel, come to Muhammad always. Where's this reference? Where's this coming from? This is Sahih. This is Sahih and Nisa'i. We can show it from the Bukhari, no problem. It's all over. It says, uh, I, uh, I don't know him more than any uh, among you. That was Jibreel. Peace be upon him, be upon you, who came down in the form of the Hail Kalbi. Mm. Mm. Now, if you mm. go, if you go and search the books, you will find that Aisha she was jealous from the Hilkalbi and from Salman the Pharisee, both of them. Uh, Aisha she said that the Hilkalbi, uh, Muhammad, he never say no to the Hilkalbi, and it was always he he received him with a smile, but yet he say no to my father, which means Abu Bakr mm. he come to her house, Muhammad he might say I'm busy, tell him to come mm. later, but no mm. way, no way. He will say, I'm busy to the Hilkalbi. Okay, so maybe they had a special friendship. 
special uh, friendship, uh, very special friendship, and uh, even after the middle of the night. <laughs> we, no. can't, we can't jump into, without proof, you cannot say this. No, no, I can, my friend, I can. You know, Muhammad, obviously, he, there's he, no, proof. He, no there, is he there is a proof, no, there is a proof, there is a proof. There is a story, uh, I should find it for you, where Ibn Abbas, he entered the house of Muhammad, and he saw, it, it says in the, in the books, uh, uh, that he found it in a meditation position mm -hmm. or situation. Meditation okay, situation, but they didn't describe to us what is that. And then the guy right away he left when okay. when Ibn Abbas Ibn Abbas was a kid, you know. The guy he right away okay. he left. So Ibn Abbas he said to him, "Is that Dahya? He was with you, okay. Muhammad." He said, "Yes, he looked like Dahya, but this is Jibril." Now you tell me, okay. why first of all, Jibril is coming in the look of this guy Dahya. I mean now, I mean now we will have two two people in the street, so people will be confused. Who is Dahia and who is Jibril? So so Dahia now, he, if Dahia, if you want to, Dahia now he can play a scam anytime. He can say I am Jibril because the prophet he confirmed that Jibril came in his image. So may, okay, if it, if he is if Jibril does choose to do that because maybe he doesn't want to scare the Sahabas to give Prophet uh, the messages, why why not? Why is it not possible for him to do that? Allah is possible to change the form of Jibreel to make Dahiya Kalbi to talk to But why 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 a guy he is next door neighbor for you and he is the most handsome man in Quraysh why and the man who come always to Muhammad anytime you see Aisha when she mentioned mm -hmm. that Dahiya he come always to Muhammad she did not say Jibreel she said Dahiya so she's always talking mm -hmm. about the same person who is Dahiya that always he's mm -hmm. welcome in the house of Muhammad and Muhammad never said to her, uh, uh, no to him and Aisha is jealous because why this man he have a special treatment. He's this is Dahya. This is not the angel Jibreel now. So Muhammad obviously he wanna give an excuse why this guy he come anytime. Why this guy so he can't be can found. Be the one who squeezed him at the cave. The one who what? The one who squeezed him in the cave. Is Nobody squeezed him in the cave. This is a lie. I mean, that's the story of the squeeze oh, in the cave. The first story of Islam. My friend, my friend, Islam? my friend. Let me ask you. Let me ask you. Just, just to prove easy that this, the story about Muhammad being squeezed in the cave is a lie. Uh, if an angel he want to tell you read, do he need to squeeze you? Maybe. Why? What? What the squeezing will do? <laughs> Maybe like send blood to the brain so he could read. Okay. Let us say this is the reason. Uh, 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 Jibreel is a doctor Jibreel now, so he know what the, the blood will, will go where. Okay. Do, do it in the doctor's like a nice way. Uh, hold on. The, uh, 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 Muhammad, he been squeezed three times. Did he understand what the angel want? No. He said, Ikra. Ma yeah, but, uh, but still Muhammad, he keeps saying to him, uh, ma ana <laughs> He never said, I understand. Right? He's, yeah. he's squeezing me three times. Did Muhammad he say now? Okay, I get you. I will, I, will, I will read what? Let me read. No. Same time, the story is stupid. How you say to him, Iqra, when you are not giving him paper? Because Iqra, you remember it, when we speak about the word Quran and Qara? Qara, yeah, you, have Qara you have to read, you have to see something, and you have, yeah. you know. Now, the Muslim, they say, Yaqra uh, al uh, Quran, it's me recite the Quran. That's false. There's nothing. No, there's... no, he was shown something by Jibreel, the tablets, Lahu Bahfuz. No, no, no. They never give him anything, my friend. I can show you the hadith. There's no, there's no, no such a thing. Show me the hadith. Show me the hadith. Okay. Uh... Okay, let's see. But you know Here the tablets, the Quran that we have to read. Read with me, Quran. read with me, my friend, read with me. The Muslim they, they fabricate tons of stories to, to cover to cover the problem of this religion. Read with me here. Okay, this is Sahih. Yeah, this is Sahih. This is Sahih Bukhari. Uh, the messenger was in the in the form of good, righteous, and true dream in his sleep. He never had a dream, but that had come true like bright day light. He used to go in a, a seclusion of the cave of Hira, where he used to worship Allah alone. Uh, continuously for many days, nights, he used to take him to the journey, the food for that stay, etc. Okay, then. And then come back to his wife Khadija and take the food, etc. Okay. Till suddenly the truth descended. The truth. Imagine, imagine how insulting this is, is because if Jibreel is the truth, that means he's God. Because this is one of the names of no. Allah, Al Haq. The truth descended upon him while he was in the cave of Hira. 
the angel came to him oh, and it goodness. asked my friend oh, hold on let us let us let us, let us read together all right uh, the angel came to him and asked him to read do you see the word read I don't know if you can see the screen he said to him uh -huh. read yes. yeah. the prophet replied I do not know how to read the prophet added angel cut me uh, forcefully and pressed me so uh, so hard and I could not bear it anymore then he released me again and asked me to read and then I replied what about Anna me? I cannot read huh my Anna Bikari means I cannot read well according well, what to, what according what? according to the Muslims understanding which is very funny and very stupid sorry to say uh, uh, Muhammad I believe he was not saying <clears throat> I cannot read I believe he was say saying what read. Ah. read what you know yeah read but, what? Yeah. but as long as what the yeah, Muslims read. believe we have to go with it what we can no, do no, no. No, but no. This is the scholars. Scholars are infallible. They're not. Uh, they're not infallible with the, the no No, so no, no, no. You, Let, you see, the problem is if the problem. Your, your your prophet. He don't talk. He do poo poo. Each time he say something, he destroy everything. Muhammad he said that ummati ala batil. He said my nation will not agree upon something. Is it? It is. It is. It's false. And now the scholars they use this as a, as a scale. So they say as long the majority agree that this is what is meant. That's mean we are right. That is the majority of Allah Bata. That's it. You know, so Muhammad. So he, everyone tomorrow, no, no, no. This is not right. This is Ijma of the scholars. This is not right. No, no. He said that, my friend. Let me show you the hadith. You, you know, you have no idea what I'm talking about. No, okay, I believe the hadith. I believe, I believe the hadith. Yeah. But how they interpret it is uh, up to you. You know. No, there's no. They are right. You know, there's, if if he is a true prophet, uh, their, their interpretation is right. So my nation. Uh, they will not agree upon something is false you know here we go mm. read it you see this is a hadith every muslim believe in it and it's a confirmed by all of them and they use it as a scale for anything they do all right so we'll my nation will not agree about something they will not unite they will not agree about something misguided misguided or you know or wrong so now they will see okay as long the majority they agree with this that's mean here we go the prophet he gave us the scale how we can make a decision as long as the majority agree it must be right because this is this is inspiration from Allah now if we go back to the story where Muhammad being squeezed three times regardless if it is he's saying to him read and so Muhammad says I cannot read or he's saying to him read what still the story is stupid because uh, uh, if if the angel saying to him read and Muhammad saying read what I mean why the angel squeezing him and repeating the same thing I just told you read what tell me what read what okay. that's it. Okay. Okay. You know what I mean? So Maybe something happened in the cave. We do not know but, what happened. Yeah. <laughs> he lost his mind <laughs> My friend come on. This is a story supposedly it is it is it, this is a godly story I mean, this is the, the first day the inspiration coming to Muhammad This is not this is a big day and look how silly and look how stupid So he squeezed him three times and the question now why three times the Christian believe in a Trinity Why everything in Muhammad life is three times? So when Jesus was first baptized, listen, when Jesus was first baptized and it says in the gospel, he heard a dove coming down from heaven mm. and a voice from the heaven saying, this is my son, you shall blah, blah, blah. So if everyone heard him, everyone should believe that this is Jesus, but no one heard him because in the other, in Mark, it doesn't mention that. It's only in the later gospels of John, it mentions that. So you can see that the Bible is not really. No, um, my friend, no, my friend. No, 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 my, my friend. Every you see the Bible is written by by four four uh, uh, four writers and everyone we do not need to repeat the same story exactly the same because if we do then there's no point of having four books there's no point if I am if I am letter by letter the same as an example let us say I was uh, I was in the front of the cross you will see that this disciple they they report what they what 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 they've been said and what been said based what based in what they knew so this person he said the Roman the Roman he said this they thought that Jesus saying Elijah Elijah you know Jesus was saying Eli Eli so they, they are reporting what they what people heard what people they thought what people etc so this could be misinformation no 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 this is not misinformation. this is true this is what happened so if I was there according to them according to their eyewitness yeah, but this right. is this is they are reporting what they what they thought it, it, it's, it's, it's a hadith. It's hadith, the gospel, the full gospel. But this, but so this yeah. hadith, my friend, is coming from Muhammad. This is not from someone else. Muhammad, he went back, he told Khadija, Khadija told us, and told Muhammad himself, he told everybody. So this is 
what Muhammad he witnessed for himself. There is no witnesses there. There's no four witnesses. There's no Luke. There's no Mark. There's no John. There's nobody. So, okay. so was he known as trustworthy Al Amin? Sorry, of the Prophet, he was known as Al Amin. What is Amin about him? Do you know what Al Amin mean? Truthful one. How he can be truthful, but he went to the house of of Zainab and he flirted with her. Because you know? he saw her and that, then he said, my heart flips for you. Yeah, Allah so is, is that a trustworthy? I mean, does not mean by the truthful. It means the trustworthy. Okay? Trustworthy. Okay. So if if a man, if your father, with my respect to your family, came to your house and he flirted with your wife when she is not, when you are not home, is that a trustworthy for you? Oh, no, no. Oh, this is what Muhammad is about. So how is it trustworthy? What kind of ethic? I mean, like, even 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 a bad person, even a bad person would not do that. I mean, uh, uh, I, I even a bad, 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 bad. You know. But it, my friend, my friend, in the Quran it says uh, the Quran like when they they wanted to divorce her. No, you see the same verse I'm showing you. Actually, this is about the same story. Muhammad, you see. Let, let me show you the conspiracy of Muhammad. How how bad this man is. When Muhammad. He wanted Zainab to be in the house of this man so he can get into her. He don't. He he he's not. You know he don't want to marry her. Own cousin sister. Listen, listen, listen. Zainab listen, been Jansi, listen, listen, listen. So my friend, listen, listen, listen. Muhammad he wanted to marry Zainab to Zaid, and he did. Yes. And later we yes. find that Muhammad he go to the house when the husband is not there. Yes. Isn't it obvious that he did marry her so he can sleep with her? Why did he just marry her then? Because there is there, there, obviously there is a reason. There is a reason. Obviously, there is a reason. We do not know what the real reason, but obviously, Muhammad he worked hard to get this man married from this woman, mm. and he even make it as a decision from Allah. That's it. Don't discuss. Yeah. Okay. So I am making so decision, and Allah make a decision, and later we find. You see, if Muhammad did marry this woman to this person, and Muhammad never do something wrong with it, okay, we we'll say okay, this is the, the, this is his son. And this is the father he decided to marry this woman to him that's wonderful but we notice now that muhammad he have no ethic and he have no problem i asked, I asked the question to my father he said because allah wanted to show that it's okay to marry your adopted son's wife but then later on in the verse he like cancelled out adoption so i don't know i don't know if that'll make sense you see uh, hold on if allah want want you want you to marry uh, th this woman if you notice with me all uh, muhammad he claimed that allah it's uh, here uh, uh, Allah and the messenger they decide the, the, the matter that's it okay so we marry Zainab to this man then right away verses after uh, uh, Allah uh, uh, it says the word the word qada. When, when when even 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 the sentence is disgusting when when Zayd, mean? when because what which means he have enough of having enjoying her you know I mean it's disgusting it's, it's a filthy way you see the water you take water you say like when you have a sheep you know you, you take a bite you take a bite and you eat from it you know so he ate from enough huh you take a bite from a shit no a sheep a sheep a sheep so like sheep, when, oh. if you are eating you know so uh, uh, you you take your share of her you take your share of of, of biting you know and oh, here is about sex yeah okay. so now he have enough sex with her so now he uh, uh, and if, if you read the verse, it's very very stupid because Allah saying to, uh, Muhammad saying to the man, "Why you want to leave your wife?" But the guy um, uh, an hour ago he was in the house of the man flirting with the wife. Mm. I mean, this is hypocrisy. Imagine I was in your house flirting with your wife, and then you come to me says, "Hey, CP, I want to divorce my wife." I say, "No, no, man, keep her, keep her." But Zainab, she wanted Muhammad though because she did. She agreed to my divorce. friend Zainab. Obviously, she is a whore. She is in, with him in the bed from the beginning. She for mm. sure, uh, uh, Zaid is a slave. Muhammad is the if king. She liked him, then why wouldn't she just marry him first? Then because like, he forced her. Like That's it. As you see, as you see, she don't she don't dare to say no. no her family cannot say no. Nobody can say. He says, look what he says. Ida qada Allahu wa Rasulahu amran. That's it. Don't discuss if Muhammad and if, if Allah and the Messenger they made a decision. Don't discuss with me. Then we can't discuss this. Then, then we nobody can, can discuss. Muslim. That's it. It says Allah when yeah. Allah and His Messenger has have decided a matter. Huh? Everyone should mm -hmm. obey. That's it. You cannot. You cannot say no. It's all. It's, you it's, cannot question. You can't question Muhammad. You cannot question, and not only that, he 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 attached his name to Allah. So now we have two names together, and both they cannot, you know, separate it. So the second, know, and, there, and there is tons of verses in the Quran says, 
وأطيعوا الله وأطيعوا الرسول you know yeah, yeah. obey Allah and obey the messenger that's it so if Muhammad he says you, but how you, do you obey the messenger you have to obey the Quran because that is the message no because there is many many things in the Quran against what Muhammad said in the hadith still Muslim they follow the hadith قول أطيعوا no, الله وأطيعوا الرسول chapter 3 verse number 32 no. chapter 3 verse 132 you know it's all over Cha chapter 4 verse 59 do you know um, Mufti Abu Laif? Mufti who? Abu Laif. I don't know who's this guy. YouTube, uh, YouTuber, Mufti. So he says Maliki, and we don't have to accept all this hadith. We can reject Sahih hadith. So it's no problem. My friend, this is a lie. Goes, because because no, 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 no. This is a lie. Because here we go. Just to get your ask him to come and debate me. You see, I'm talking to you. With my respect to you, I'm, I'm talking to you with your level. Get me this mufti and I will make him shish kebab. Because the second you say you can refuse sahih hadith and anything contradict with the Quran, it means you have to delete all the hadith because all the hadith is against the Quran. All the hadith is okay, against the Quran. Well, let me tell you why. Let me tell you why. Uh, uh, what, what, what the Quran speak about uh, uh, how Allah he taught mankind? With the pen. By the pen, the Muslims, yes. this guy he believed your your mufti believed that Muhammad was illiterate, correct? No, no. actually, he says that Muhammad could read and write because according okay, hold on, to, uh, Muhammad he can even that would be a problem. Let me show you why, because if why? Muhammad he couldn't write, read and write, then still Allah have to teach him by the pen. Did he give him anything by the pen? No, no, that's surah. Hmm? No. Did, uh, chapter 96 verse number four okay did Allah taught Muhammad anything by the pen he taught mankind through the pen no 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 you see you see hold on hold on taught mankind he did not taught Muhammad so all the mankind they, they live by the pen why Adam he he, he was Adam Adam he was Adam he was born uh, or he, he created he he know how to use the pen the pen have nothing yeah. to do with Allah or any God. This is this is a lie, because simply God is not the one who created the pen. What is the first thing Allah created? Did Allah give us? But yeah, this is His pen. This is His pen. Did He give us a pen? No, man can't make this one. This is not literal, okay. my friend. So no, no, no. It is. It is because we say Allah al insan al qalam. He taught them by the pen. Then we need. We, he should. He should send us a pen, pen. If this is his pen, and by the way, why Allah have a pen? Oh, you're being silly. You're hold on, hold on. Silly. Why, why Allah have a pen? To write down the destinies of all. That's everything. that's funny, isn't it? The Quran says, uh, 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 like, if uh, if Allah wants something to be, He said, be. What do you mean to write the destiny? Why He need to write kun it? Kun, kun, fire, kun, that's when He creates. My friend, no. And He, uh, 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 this is my challenge to you. Show me one thing Allah created by saying be, and it was just one. Just one. Just one. I will give you ten thousand years. <laughs> if, if you see how sure I am, I will give you twenty thousand years to show me created, to show the, me one the heavens, thing. The, to the, earth, the heavens and the earth. But yes. he did not create it by saying uh, uh, "be" and "was." Let there it, be it, light. It took no, him. No, please. this is the the Bible. You are mi mixing things up in the same, Bible. God, God, huh? Same God. No, the no, God of no. East, don't uh, don't don't mix things the up. Quran, says, in the Quran, it says, "Is the God of Abraham is my friend." This is Bish, Shish Kebab. I, I can say, "I am God, and I, I am the God of Abraham." Well, who does is that? You know. Okay, but it, yeah, yeah. Okay, anyone can say anything. Okay, but now, now, the, no. What is? Or, 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 there is no way, my friend. If we have the same God, we should have the same heaven at least. Have you ever heard of a guy? He have a heaven full of women, a vagina, and the other one says there is no marriage. Maybe and there's want to, in heaven, you can have anything you want, brother. No, no, this is false because this is stupid actually to say to have anything you want. But if somebody is a gay, what if somebody want to have sex with Muhammad? Then they can. That's wonderful. So Muhammad now is bending over, and people are lined up to do to no, do him. But Allah wouldn't let that happen. Allah wouldn't. Let no, that you happen. you made the promise. You said whatever you wish. The second you make a promise, whatever well, you why, wish, this means whatever you, you wish. Why, why would you want to have sex with Muhammad in prison? My Muhammad? friend, the second you say whatever you wish, you have to keep your promise. If I say to you, yeah, go inside my that. house, hold on, hold on, my friend, let us be honest here. If I say oh. to you, whatever you wish, go inside my house and you pick it up, have whatever you wish. And then yeah. inside my house, we have my wife and I say, okay, I want to have her. I just yeah. told you, I promised you that whatever you wish, that's it. Yes, I should say whatever you wish except this and this and this mm -hmm. but I told you whatever you wish That's it. So, you know, this is this is madness in the same time 
uh, uh, the Quran says stupid things like as you said, you know, you said to me and we, I said let us talk about this later You said the creation of the baby, right? You said science the creation of the yeah. baby. Okay, let's talk about that How the baby is created in the Quran? The Quran uh, the drop emitted between the backbone and the rib hmm. and Then it goes inside the first the formation um, Okay, first is close uh, clots a leech hmm. like thing hmm. then it's closed with flesh then bones then <coughs> Then it's uh, formed in it mm. with the soul. Mm. Yes, so I can't remember the verse exactly. So is that is that correct? Generally, yes. But generally. not accurate because it says the bones first, then the skin. But you know, this like uh, how did they know this? You know, like gestation period and all this. What is station? In my friend, this is no station here. You see, in order to understand, in order to understand what Muhammad is talking about, you have to go and read what Muhammad explained the verse. So Muhammad, he speak about that. So if we go now into the hadith, and we search, we just do the tafsir. Say, go tafsir. No, tafsir is based on the uh, tafsir. At the end of the day, is based on one of two things. If there is no hadith, they try to make their own effort to explain it. If there is a hadith, they have to go by the hadith because that's it. If Muhammad he spoke about it, that's it. It's over. You know. Okay. So now, why is the da'if? Why is da'if hadith? Then you still accept. There's nothing that's called in the Aif Hadith in Islam. This is this is a this is a new fabrication in the religion. When 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 uh, uh, when the uh, you know the Muslim they became under a lot of threat and attacks by by us you know exposing Islam. Mm -hmm. So this this is why the series exists. If you remember, I have debating Doctor uh, Rohi, and you told me you were watching. Rohi, yes. Doctor Rohi yes. said Tafsir is exist to fix a problem. Yeah. Okay. What is the problem that Christians, Arab Christians? They expose Islam, so the, so the, the, the Muslims so, they make tafsir not to, to, not to explain the Quran to defend Islam. This is why you see all the tafsir is, is have a one target, is to defend Islam, fabricating lies about what Muhammad and what happened. But even though after all the defense they did, they fail. Look, what, read with me. This is your prophet saying. Prophet said, at every womb, Allah appoint an angel. Here we go. Inside the womb, there's an angel. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay, carry on. And then he said, Oh Lord, drop of semen. Mm. Oh Lord, a clot. Mm. Oh Lord, a little lump of flesh. Then mm. Allah wishes to complete its creation. And then the angel asks, Oh Lord, will be male or female? <laughs> mm. oh. a, 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 a watch or a blast. How much he will be, his provision be, will be. Yes, and will be his age. Okay, yes. look at this madness here. Okay, it's destiny. It's saying your destiny. The angel is uh... my friend. The male, the male, and the female is decided already. That the, the the sperm, the semen, it has that already. It's not. It's not something at the end happen, male or female. Secondly, when he say a clot, did you see the word the clot? Yes. Do you know what the clot mean? Yeah, blood clot, like a congealed. Flesh. Right. So it's a dead blood. Mm. And the body, the, the human being will actually. This is one of the dangerous things in a human being life. If you have a congealed blood inside your 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 vein, correct? Because you will have heart attack. Yeah. So how he says such a thing? So so, it, to, so everything here, everything here is wrong. You see, he starts saying the drop of his of semen. First of all, the human being is not created from a drop of semen. One semen. The drop of semen is millions, what? billions of semen. No, but like it's, it's just speaking generally because the Arab. No, no, this is not generally. Like, Muhammad is giving you, my, my friend. friend the, my friend, the Quran speak clearly how Allah created the baby. He said the word the clot. Did he? Yes. Okay, so that's it. We cannot. Is we cannot. For, is there a word for microscopic in Arabic? No, what Microsoft? What then, then what do you want Allah, Allah to say? Microscopic one semen, you know? No, like, no, uh, no. You see, clot in Arabic. In Arabic, a clot is a dead blood. It is dead blood. How you say that? It's very. It's not about. It's not about science now. It's something we know. If if you if you cut yourself and you have a blood in the top of your skin when it's go dry, which is to to protect you, right? Yes, cap. Okay. Yes. That is what he's talking about. Alaka. You know, it's, it's stuck in your, in your yeah. Alaka, a clinging thing. It means something that. No, means. it's not a clinging thing. This is a lie. You see, in one of the translations, they say well, that this is not. This is not. You see, alaka. The Muslim they try to. Enemies, that all the Muslim translations are lying to me. All yeah. of them, they are lying because we can go Why to the Arabic. Because we can go to the Arabic and see the interpretation, and you will see none of them agree with that. It's a bullshit. Excuse my language. It's a garbage. Okay. Shame on them to try to change it because not even one Muslim scholar agree that this is mean. Uh, uh, alaka, as they claim. 
Did you, did you remember the piece I showed you that there is no way my nation will agree about one thing is misguided? Okay, all yeah. the Muslim scholars agree that I could not find one, just one, who claim that the word alaqa is about the leech. They say the leech, mm. not even one. What's the connect? What's the connect? The connect the potatoes. The they ask him why why a woman she cannot be a prophet in Islam. He said because of her ass. I mean, this is a prophet. What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? Uh, Go and search the video. Ass? Go and search the video. He said they ask him a woman. She asked hmm. him why there is no woman. Uh, she is a prophet in Islam. He said brother Titter, if a Muslim woman he became a prophet, <laughs> they have to lead the congregation, and if you lead the congregation, they have to do to do what we do, and if you do that, they have to bend over. And that would disturb the believer. What the heck? <laughs> her ass, her ass is the reason it would disturb them. She is bending over. I mean, the whole Muslims they will forget about Allah now. They will focus in the ass of a beautiful woman. This is a this is a scholar. This is stupid, you know. Okay. Zakir okay. Naik, Zakir okay. Naik. They ask him about the hoor. Do you remember? You can search the video. They ask him why yeah. women she don't get hoor. A man he get hoor. He, he said, said women does. He said he, he said the women do. He said what? Maybe. He said, yeah, he said, he said, he said, is a plural word. <laughs> but the Quran said that those are the Hur, they never have, nobody have intercourse with them and nobody broke their human. This this, yeah. this guy is a stupid idiot. Uh -huh. You know, you call yeah. him a scholar, he's but those, no, no Arab. my friend, he's no scholar. He, he's the eye of uh, Ahmed Dida. He is, a, he is a donkey, but the Muslims, they, they clap for anyone say anything good about Islam. But, go right uh, now, okay, go right now, the, open, my, my friend, let me advise you. Go right now and start making videos of defending Muhammad and you will see how much you will be supported by Muslims. Just say anything, any crap. The Muslim they will support you. It doesn't matter how much stupid what you say. Like the same as Muhammad Hijab. The guy he was debating with David Wood, he told him, Allah, he prayed for, you know. The guy, he said, Allah, he prayed for, not two, as if it's make a difference. I talked to my uncle about this. So Salah, it can mean like to give blessings. No, my friend. No, no, my friend. My friend, no. Salah does not make me blessing. Even the donkey himself, he made a video saying that the, the, the Quran says that uh, 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 that Muhammad yusalli alaykum, yusalli alaykum. Mm. Okay, yusalli alaykum. He said this is the same. It's the same exact word. We go to the interpretation. We find that yusalli alaykum mean he supplicated prayer to Allah to, to, to for you. So he said, uh, so, no, dua no, my friend. See, here we go. You mentioned different word. The word dua is different from word salah. Salah is something yeah. dua. Even if you say dua, imagine Allah. He, he's he's making dua. You know what dua? What dua? Oh, true. Who is he praying to? Right. So when he said that he prayed for, not pray to, he 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 became a certified donkey because you just admitted that your God is praying to someone. Who he prayed mm -hmm. to? Who you know? I like if I say to you, pray pray for me. You are not praying for Allah me as God, but you are praying for a God. Allah and His angels send blessings. That's the translation. That's a lie. That's a lie, my friend. Because here, here we go. Let, let, let me show you. Just to show you how Muslims they lie to each other, they've tried to fool you. Mm, I've been studying for many years now, and uh, you know, I do have debates with everyone, but like, I came across your videos. My friend, you are I can't, I think you are leaving Islam very soon if you did not leave yet. Hmm. Uh, if you go to the uh, to the you know, uh, uh, you sound a smart person uh, and you are not a donkey. Who this Thank who, who like to be a donkey because some people they choose to be a donkey. Uh, any <laughs> <laughs> let me show you, let me show you, my friend. When the Muslims they say that uh, 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 that the word you saloon means sending blessing, let us analyze yeah. together. This is the Quran. Mm. I will put it in the screen. Okay, this is the first translation made by Muslims. But let us let us study this and look together at this first translation. Okay, wait for me. Let us uh, zoom in more. Give me a second. All right. Allah and His angels send the blessing on the Prophet. How stupid that a statement can be more than following. Read with me carefully and use your brain, please. If Allah, he sent a blessing to you, my friend, do I need the blessing of the angels? Maybe it helps. What help? <laughs> if, 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 Allah, if Allah is God and he blessed me already, what the angels can do more than what Allah can do? 
because the angels can protect you as well you no, know no no my like, friend the angels the angels are, are are toys in the hand of allah they are just servants so that's it if allah blessed me house, my friend like, you know, if i am god if i am god and i say i protect you who can who can kill you nobody if i say i bless you who need to bless you after me nobody no because okay, because but, even when i say to you but, listen when you yeah. when your mother she say bless you my son is she really blessing you no she is asking god to bless you correct all right don't, there's no man can bless anyone and there's no angel can bless I me if i say no but if i say if i am the general of an army and i say i'm going to protect you and i don't have to take the bullet for you but my soldiers can and so allah the angels are allah's soldiers so maybe they are used to help you know you my friend like my this. friend look at what look what it says this is we, we we have to focus on the word the blessing now it's not about helping that's it the blessing it's our blessed the blessed is not an action it is it is an order if allah allah is god he say if you want something to be is going to be that's it there's no addition why is blessing, why is blessing? Why is blessing? huh what is blessing the blessing it's mean According whatever whatever you do is going to be good whatever you do your okay. life is a good life you, you will be you will so be a person they... you are you, you have you have uh, 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 the, the support of God that whatever you do is going to be blessed is going to be wonderful it's going to be amazing it's going to be good so that's it if Allah if Allah made a decision you? if Allah if yeah. Allah may, let, let, let us make it simple for you. If I uh, if I am a king and I decide to give you, I say to you, give him all the worth. Do I need the angels or my ministers to give you the worth? Because I am the one who gave all the worth to you already. I decide their decision will not make any difference. What what who are they? They work for me. So yeah. he gave him all what he needs. So what the angels would do, and look what it says here: Allahu wa malaikatahu, Allah and His angels send the blessing, which means both of them they are doing the same action in the same time. Yeah, that's stupid. Because that means that the angels and Allah are equal, mm. and that's mean mm. that Muhammad needed both the angels and Allah, which means Allah is not enough. Same. No, maybe because the if angels just follow Allah. So if Allah is giving the blessing, the angels will follow Allah. No, it's my obvious. friend, the, the, the angels don't follow Allah. The angels obey, and that's it. Obey, it, yeah. And there's not nothing to obey here. Uh, that's it. But Allah is telling the angels to send blessings. No, Allah my friend, obey. how they can send the blessing if this is if he, if he blessed him already? What blessing they will send? You have a warehouse. Okay, open the warehouse and then bless him. He just blessed him. That's it. You're blessed. That's it. Uh, uh, if Allah wants something to be, he say be, and that's it, right? So. But this is here when Allah he mentioned that word by the way it's about the creation something creating something he say be is going to be but now let us say based on that if Allah want Muhammad to be blessed and he decide to be blessed who need the angels and look it's it, the, the, the madness continue it says oh who you believe send ye blessing on him look oh it's not only the angels it is the the believers and then and salute him with respect so look what happened now. Muhammad became this. Be Muhammad became the center of the earth and the center of the universe. Everybody in the universe, Allah. But why is Muhammad? It's a title, means the most praised one, right? Right. This is, is why, really because, because he's God, really because he is God for the Muslims without without knowing. So Muhammad now is a center. Allah is here, sending a blessing. As you as you as, as they try to fool you with the with the blessing word. No, but I think I think maybe Muhammad became bad later in his years because he said if if Muhammad speaks a lie about Allah, Allah will cut off his aorta. And then when he died, he said this. So maybe at okay, the let end, me, Allah let, me, let me show you how the, how that can be impossible because if Allah blessed him, Allah knew the future, don't he? Yes. Okay, he blessed somebody. He is is not. Uh, he chose somebody is wrong. He chose somebody he don't know no, okay, then if, if 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 uh yahweh if jesus is god mm. why would he allow muhammad to do this and lead so many the bible says Muslims the son the bible says the son will raise upon the evil and the and, and the good that's it you know that uh, god he allowed satan to be exist he can destroy him so that's it you see when we say when the bible says uh, god he even created evil who, what he meant he meant he created angel but that angel turned to be satan but god he gave a free will oh, my jinn, friend, my friend no we don't believe in jinn there's nothing's called jinn is this, this is one of the fabrication of muhammad listen oh. god in christianity he gave you free will this is why satan yes. became satan but in islam no in islam as you see that when you are in the womb of your mother he decides for you what you will be you will be this you will be that you will be that what you will be so that's it 
male or female is the decision of Allah. Uh, 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 rich Everything or, is a decision. Yeah, but this is but this is mean. Muhammad he cannot be bad unless Allah he wanted him to be bad. Yeah. Okay. So how Allah chose Everything him to be a prophet, and and why Allah did not say clearly that Muhammad is bad? Where he said that? No, he said, ask forgiveness for your sins. You're fasting. Your My friend, sins. that's the, uh, Muhammad here because Muhammad is be, being busted. People, they say, how this guy can be a prophet of God? So Muhammad, when I always make himself look legitimate, so you could look. Allah, he said to me, ask for this, uh, for you, for your forgiveness. But did Muhammad ask for forgiveness? No. Yeah, he did. No, he, he did not. No, my friend, pray. look what he did. This is this is a lie. This is always a lie. Do you, do you know the story? Of, do you know the story of the guy Muhammad? He killed him just because he pray a lot. He wanted to kill him. No, tell me the story. What go and get about? my book. Go and get my book and love. You will see. The, you, you will see. You will see. Of Allah? Huh? Deception of Allah. Deception yeah. of Allah. Which one? Yeah, deception of Allah. Yeah. Muhammad. Muhammad. He came. He saw. He saw the believers standing, talking. So they said, talking about what? They said, we are talking about a guy. He's amazing. He prayed on a stop. He is the best of the believers here. Muhammad, because he's a man, because he's a jealous man, as usual, he don't accept anyone to take his place. So he felt insecure. Ah, there's a person, there's somebody, he claimed that he is, or they claim that he pray better than me, and he pray more than me. So what I will do, I will get rid of him. So the guy, he said, and Muhammad he said do you claim that you are the best here the man he said mm. by Allah I do, by Allah I do mm. and then the man he went inside the mosque to pray and then he said who want to go and kill this guy for me this story this guy was a Muslim he's a Muslim yeah the, the Muslim they are talking about why him how amazing he is this is a false story because why would he, a Sahaba that believes in the Prophet say by Allah I do to the Prophet it doesn't make sense my friend my friend doesn't make sense i know it doesn't make sense what what is make sense in islam nothing makes sense you're right but the, but sense. this is but this is a story written by you reported by you witnessed by you and given to us by you so don't tell me it doesn't make sense this not is what by me this is by this yeah is by, by, this by the muslims who i mean not, bukhari. Who is, who is bukhari? These are no one okay my friend my friend this is not my problem you are the one you tell yourself that question who is who is half the one you get the quran from him you, he's no one mm -hmm. half not only he's a liar. Hafs is a liar, he's a fraud, he's a fraud, he's a thief, he's he's everything. Yet yet you take the Quran from him. No, okay. because this Quran is all we have. We have Warsh as well. So we don't take Warsh. <laughs> Why you don't take Warsh then? I take Warsh then, you know. Okay, we take Warsh, but all of them they are the same garbage. I mean it's the <laughs> It's the same garbage, it's the same, the same, you know. We, we are just a change in the my friend, we are just okay, a change in the name of the donkey. Nothing, nothing, nothing no, more. You said, you, you said you said the Quran says a flat earth, yeah? Because in your other videos, I see that. Yeah, let us say, let us okay, finish this one. We will go, we will go to the flat earth. Don't worry. Oh, oh let us finish this one in front of us. So look here. The Muslim they decide to cover the, the cover the issue here that the angels and uh, uh, Allah and the believers, all of them they are praying and Muhammad, they change it to send a blessing. That is the, the, small, the that tell is the me most. Tell me what is Tell me what is this Salah mean? is a prayer. That's it. Communication. No. Contact. No. 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 Salah is, is to send supplication to God. No. This is dua. Tell me, like, what does it mean, Salah? To follow closely, the literal meaning, the literal root word. It's coming from the word Salah, like you to make a connection with someone. Connection. But salah, okay. But the second you say Salah, Salah is not about connection with anyone. It's about praying to God, as simple as that. Sorry, this is why in the Quran. I'm, I'm going to use the passes. This, uh, this is prince. why. This is why in the Quran. Rude. Christian prince, Christian prince. I don't want to be rude. I'm just going to use the toilet. Two minutes, I will be back. Okay. All right. Don't don't, don't forget to don't forget to talk. don't forget to make the prayer. The prophet he said, otherwise, otherwise, shaitan who will play with your anus. Remember that. <laughs> right. Yeah, because if you don't do it, my friend, you will stay there for ten hours, as the prophet said. Go ahead. All right. Who's next? Are you enjoying your time, guys? This this guy will not stay long as a Muslim. You will see. He's in the way out. Yeah, that's what their prophet said to them. You know, crazy. If you don't say that prayer, this guy he finished right away, and that was fast. Hello. Hello. You finished that fast? 
Yeah, my toilet is uh, just next to my room. Oh, Alhamdulillah. All right. Mm. <laughs> so, uh, my friend, uh, the the blessing when somebody says a blessing, send them blessing. That is a stupid explanation because if God blessed me, I do not I do not need any blessing. But let me show you something. How Muhammad always involve everybody in any stupid story. Do you no, know? Because do you, you said salawat. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You said salawat means connection, right? No, salawat does not mean connection. Sila, sila, connection. Salah, salah, salah mean a prayer always. This is why the Quran says, "Aqimu salat, aqimu, aqimu." Establish, establish contact. No, no, establish the prayer because prayer in Islam is a special uh, action involve uh, 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 physical action. In, it's in, involve, it's involve. No, don't, don't, don't argue with me. You know, I can prove it easy. So if we go in the Quran, it says chapter 6, verse number 72. Salah. Do you see it? Uh, I, do, I can't see the screen, but you could read the chapter 6, for me. chapter 6, verse number 72. Establish the prayer. Okay. And this is mentioned again, you know, uh, 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 in other verses. Let us see. If we take the word Salah, just to show you how wrong you are. Chapter two, verse, like, chapter, like to chapter two, verse number three. Let us read together. That's the Muslim translation, not mine. Who you believe, who believe in the unseen, are steadfast in a prayer. You see, in a prayer. This is what salat mean. You can go and you it's will find. The it's the Muslim translation. My friend, I don't need translation. I, I, I'm reading for you. What translation you like? No, because you don't agree with the Muslim translation. My friend, my friend, I don't agree. That's why I can read because I read in Arabic. But for you, do you know Arabic? No, you know Arabic, so you okay. translate to me. Okay, I I translate for you. We salat. Establish the prayer. The prayer is not a dua. Is not tasbih. Is not uh, just uh, saying a few words. You have to do certain things. See the Quran mentioning the word uh, uh, salah in a specific way. So when we say, okay, how do you do salah? How do we do salah? You have to stand in a certain way. You have to do ablution before that. You have to say certain words. You have to repeat Muhammad words. You have to do exactly that is salah. Anything else is not salah. Anything else is dua. Is is uh, 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 you know asking God for your own favor or whatever. But, but, but the Quran doesn't mention how to pray salah. It just gives like okay, stand, bow, prostrate, and lie my, down. No my, one lies my friend, down. My friend, this is not the problem. The problem is the word salah. The word salah always come as what we said. Establishing prayer. Anything else is not salat. Anything else is not salat. It can be tasbih. Tasbih. Praise be to Allah. Dua. Supplicate your own request. Your own. You can say whatever you want. That's not salat. Salat is you only you. Salat is namaz. This is what you're saying. Yeah. Salat is what? Namaz. What do you mean namaz? What does that mean? Namaz. Namaz. Salat. Um. You know, we go to the mosque, pray Friday, Jummah, like this. Not necessarily. You can do it at home, but you have to do it in a certain way. You have to, you know, to do ablution, and then you do salah, whatever Muhammad he taught you to do. Anything okay. else is not salah. The five, okay, so you're talking about, so Allah does salah? Allah, you're telling me Allah does, and his angels do Allah, salah? Like Allah, he did salah, absolutely. Allah, uh, Allah did salah. He, so you see, Allah, read with cool. me, read with me. Chapter 2, verse number 83. Allah, he ordered the Bani of Israel, the children of Israel, وَأَقِيمُوا الصَّلَاةِ وَآتُوا zakat. You see, those are obligation. Dua is not obligation. Establish salah and give charity, yes. Yeah, this is obligation. So what is obligation in Islam? Is to do fard, fard. salah. This is fard. The, the rest is not fard. Yes. Dua is not fard. You know, yes. but but salat is a fard. That's it. And when the, the second we say salat, you are the one who told me Arabic is a rich language, correct? Mm -hmm. So there's many words for the word uh, blessing. Yes, baraka. So there is no need to use the word salat. Obviously, he's speaking about salat. That's it. Allah did not so speak. Allah, so Allah is doing salat. Allah is doing salat. Salah. Muhammad is doing salat. The Muslim doing salat. The angels doing salat. Everybody doing salat. And Muhammad hijab, he says, Allah, he pray for, not pray to. Suppose he's smart. Now, yes. Now, after he needed to clarify this, he did already. He made a video uh, yeah. uh, to yeah, fix so to, to fix uh, this guy. He he uh, he tried to fix it. He made it blind. You know. Hmm. So he uh, he made a he video. <laughs> they will never get close to me. I see speakers calling. I'm very like. So I watch all of these guys and like Ali Dawa, I don't like him. He's a kid. Um, My friend, Muhammad is a very intelligent guy. I thought he was made he, very good. He point. is not. No, he's a, he's an idiot. Actually, he, he you know, 
this guy is a shame for the Muslims, and I'm glad that no, he did no, that why, debate. Why, okay, I see David Wood on YouTube. Why he doesn't attack Islam when they're debating? He was like a little mouse. Like David Wood my, was a my friend. Guy. I don't wanna. I don't wanna talk about David Wood. He did what? Mm. What? Uh, 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 David Wood. He asked him many. Listen, him? listen, listen. David Wood. He asked him many serious question. I agree, mm -hmm. David Wood. He did not do a good job to put him in the corner yeah. to to you know like he get a chance to 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 destroy him immediately. But he's not a debater. David Wood is not a debater, and he is not. Yes, he is. No, he's not. He's not. No. You see, the second you see somebody keep reading from the the, the computer, always he is not a debater. You know, he have uh, something yeah. written in front of him, and he is reading from the computer. I I don't mind to read from the computer to remember not to not to make mistake about a number or something. No problem, yeah. but not to keep reading and you know looking. So he's not a debater. But you have the knowledge. And yeah, yeah. No, you have knowledge. He, he have and he don't he have. This is why they debate him too. You know, he have a knowledge, but his knowledge is limited. At, at least, at least. Mister, why do you not go to debate? Listen, listen, listen. I. I I am here and he will go and uh, I, I, I allowed anyone to call me including you with my respect to you anyone yeah. can call me did I say no to you no, no did I ask you who are you no you might be a big shake you might be nothing who okay I mean I don't care so yeah. I am welcoming anyone to call me and I'm almost every day here why, why they don't call me so with the Muslims <laughs> they choose someone who don't speak Arabic in purpose who have limited knowledge in the, in Islam, so he will do the minimum damage. And the second he says something, they start making fun of him because he don't speak Arabic. Yeah, right. Yeah, that's true. And then, okay. And then Fair that enough. and then that stupid idiot uh, hijab. He said to the, uh, David Wood, uh, uh, you know, like you do not need Hebrew, you do not know Arabic, as if he knew Hebrew. And then he said, Emmanuel mean God is with us, which is a stupid. You know, uh, uh, everybody was laughing. So it does mean that. It does not mean that absolutely, you know. It, it's, sorry, I said Elijah, Elijah, Elijah. He said Elijah is the oh, same Elijah. as yeah, he said Elijah is the same as Emmanuel. So he oh, said okay. Elijah, Elijah mean God is with us, and this is stupid of him to say. So yes. uh, everybody was laughing, but uh, David would there. He did. He have a chance to to laugh at him and say, "Look what he said." He said Elijah. This is yeah. stupid to say. He and he said, him, and he yeah. said Allah is, you know. But he was speaking in respect to the person, you know. I don't know why. For me, if uh, I, Muhammad Hijab was not very respectful he was very rude but he was trying to be comedian he avoid answering any question and the Muslims yeah, they, decided with the Quran I found that really annoying when he decided yeah and he started singing and he started etc and and, uh, and then he said uh, when he asked him why you Muslims you collect the spit of the Prophet and, and you wipe yeah. your face with it he said the okay I'm, 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 what is it this is a, yeah. this is a child this I mean it's stupid the guy what is the answer is so, it true? Is it true that the Arabs fought over the poo of the Kaaba? Yeah. The, they what? The daughter of the Prophet Kaaba did a poo poo, and then the Arabs fight over it. I don't know. No, the, it, it, there is a stories about even the camel of Aisha. There's a there's a yeah, there, that's what there's a there's a video you can watch it actually. A video movie. It's a movie made by made by Muslims send me the link, please? about Muslims. Uh, I will try to find it for you. I made a video about it actually before. Maybe you can find it. Uh, the uh, uh, Aisha she have a red camel, and when her camel piss or poopoo, after the camel move from his place, the Muslim they rush and they jump over the poopoo and they fight over it and they start sniff it and put it inside their clothes. Mm -hmm. You know, and this is Aisha camel. This is not even the Prophet poopoo. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like a cult. Uh, uh, read with me. Uh, uh, in chapter thirty-three, verse uh, verse number four, forty-three, it says. Who will let you sully alaikum wamala ikatahu? Okay. Who will let you sully alaikum wamala ikatahu? What does that mean? It is him who pray on you and his angels to do what? Read with me carefully. It says, This is stupid because look at this. If this word means blessing, I will go with the Muslim translation just to show you how stupid when they try to defend Islam, how 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 they mess it up. If we go here. <coughs> Read with me. This is the most fast translation. It is He, which means who is Allah, he, uh, is who send the blessing on you, as do His angels, that He may bring you out of the depth of darkness. Look at this madness. Have you ever heard of somebody sending a blessing to someone he is in the darkness, and that may make him go out of darkness? That's stupid. It's like hope. No, Talking but but hope. no. If I if I say you are blessed, you see, isn't it the Muslim? They say if Allah wants something to be, he say be is going to be. Okay. No, if, but it's not. It's, it's a test. Life, like Muhammad was still. No, 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 my friend. When, when when I say I blessed you, 
do yeah. do Allah bless me right now? He's blessing me. Okay, is Jesus blessed? Is Jesus blessed? We see when we say the blessed God, of course, he is he is the blessing himself. He is the exactly. blessing so, for the world. You see, he, he, he is he is the killed, blessing. He is the blessing of the world. He is not about being blessed. He is the blessing. You see, Jesus is different yeah. from anyone. Let me let me explain to you. But, Jesus is a miracle. Jesus is a miracle. God is a miracle. Jesus is the word of God. He is the word, and he's a man in the same time. Jesus is a blessing for the world. He is not the blessed. He is the when we say the blessed God, for he is the blessing. He is a source, like we say. The spring of a blessing. He is the blessing for the world. So he is a blessed, yes, because he is the blessing. But look here, my friend. No, listen carefully. You know, in the Bible, my friend. In the Bible, it says that God is not a man. God is not a man who lie. Yeah, God is not a yeah, man. Yeah, and, and we believe, we believe that God is not a man. Who told you that God is a man? Jesus, Jesus is a man. The, no, we, what we believe, my friend, you, you see, you, the problem Muslims they don't use their brain too much. We believe that mm -hmm. God became a man, not man became God. Yeah. When you say God is not a so man, but, a man, that's mean that's mean but God then, is not a man. Se se secondly, when we say that God is not a man, read the rest of the verse. It says God is not a man who lie. So they are speaking mm -hmm. about that every man lie except God. God, so never lied. God does not lie. Okay, Jesus never lied, never. But what did he said that I will come back in the time of the apostles, that I shall be with you, and all that. And he, then he didn't come, like he is with us always, my friend. You see, the Muslims they quote for us verses about the Holy Spirit, they say the comforter. Have, have you ever heard of it? Yeah, it's, okay. It's, I, I Jesus, he said clearly that I will be with you in the spirit. So, the, Jesus, we yeah. believe in the Trinity. So Jesus go, he is with us. He said, Every two of you mention my name, I will be between them, which means I will be the third. So Jesus, he is with us until the judgment day, until he come back again. Okay, so let me ask you a question. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, what we see in the front of us that Allah is sending a blessing. May he, may he take you out of darkness. How may that can happen? If, if, How that can happen? May he. Yeah. What? 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 May. If I blessed you, is that is that a may? Mm. Okay. Okay. Let, let's let, let's make I, it simple for you. If I say to you, I, I I I I will make you healthy, and then I say, so may you come out of sickness. That's stupid. I make you healthy already. If I promise because you health, God, if, said, God if said, I, said in the Quran he will not do any miracles. That's why God said he's not going to do no miracles for Muhammad. So he's not going to show signs. But but here the okay. but I'm trying to show you it's not about a miracle. I'm I'm showing you if this is a blessing, how this can blessing be? This is not a blessing. Allah he he pray on you so you may God of dar darkness. It's the same as any man. This is what the word here. They translate the word salah to blessing. Are you are you getting it? Yes. It's the same. I mean, pray for you so you may know the truth. So look what happened. Why would God pray? It doesn't make sense. Why would Muhammad say that God prays on him? He knows Arabic. Muhammad is Arab, so he knows Arabic. So why would he use the same word salah? Because because blessing? because you know the the stupidity is there. I mean, should I make him smart for you? I don't know what to say. Okay. Here, Allah He sent the blessing. This is not a blessing. This is salah, and the proof of that. So you may bring out of darkness. May it's a it's a it's a wish, right? So here mm. He made salah. I pray for you, so you may. That makes sense now, right? Yeah. Okay. Now we continue. Yeah. Yeah. If we go in the Quran in different places, just to show you that you are talking about you know uh, things does not make sense. I mean, what is in Islam makes sense? If we go in the Quran, huh? No, no, carry on. Okay, if we if we go in the Quran from the beginning of the Quran, what the first verse in the Quran? Surah Fatiha. What it Ikra. says? What when it says? You, when, you, uh, when you open the book, you mean the physical book? Yeah. Surah Fatiha. Mm. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. No, start from the first verse. Oh. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Okay, who is the one is talking? Bis in the name of Allah. Okay, how Allah, how how Allah how Allah is talking? Yet He says in the name of Allah. No, Bismillah is not part of the Quran. It is what we say. We say this. This is for the Muslims to say. No, my friend. No, my friend. This is Allah talking, my friend. This is Allah talking. He did not, not say. You, no, you see in the Quran. In the Quran, when Allah He wanted to say, He said "Qul." I can show you tons yeah. places. Okay, here He did not say "Qul." This is of why course, you see the, the, is a this, this, is, this is why you see some writers of the Quran they refuse to add this chapter in the Quran yeah. because this was a prayer made by Muhammad. 
even Mas'ud said, yeah, this Ibn is not Mas'ud, he refused to add it. Why? Muhammad yeah. here is trying to copy the prayer of Jesus where he told, where they asked him, Jesus, how we pray? He said, our father out of heaven. And you will notice here with me, he is, there's a lot on here is trying to say the same. Huh? And then he says, praise be to Allah, the, the sustainer of the world, most gracious, most merciful. Well, you just say that here while you are repeating the same thing again. That's silly. Then he oh. says, master of judgment day. Thee do we worship and thin aid we seek. Why Allah want to say such a thing? This. this is just a prayer. We know this. It's just you see, okay, how we go? Okay, you just say this is a prayer, right? Yeah. Okay. How you know it's a prayer? Because uh, because it's a because it's a wish. It's a wish, right? It's a wish. Yeah. It's a wish. Isn't it the same as the verse I showed you previously? May you go out of darkness. Yeah, but in the Quran, say, Rabbana atina fit, it teaches us See, no problem. No, 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 that is dua. No problem. But the one is talking here is who is Allah. Allah, Allah is speaking Allah. about his action. Allah, in the other the verse before this one, I showed you Allah speaking Surah about Fatiha. his action, my friend. No, when it's I said to you, who no. you chapter 33, verse number 43. Yeah. It is he who pray on you and his angels, so you may go get out of your darkness. You remember. So here we go. The salah. I said to you, how you know that this is salah? Because it's a wish. Mm, it's a wish. Yes. It's, it's a, a wish. Prayer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If Allah, sense, prayer, if Allah, yeah. if Allah is is God, He don't make a wish. He say be yes, is yes. going to be. That's it. Mm. So this is obviously is a salah. Now, if we go in the Quran, and we try to find how 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 uh, how Muhammad present his God for us, how Allah this uh, this God he he. Uh, he function. Can you find any place for me to, to explain to me who is how does God function based on the Quran? What do you mean? Well, what do you mean how does God function? How he function? I mean, how he understand things? If, if we go to the creation of the Quran as an example, creation of the Allah earth and the heaven. Quran, do you not reflect? He tells you to be logical. Hmm. Quran is very logical. Logical. Okay, name for me one thing is logical in the Quran. Go ahead. One thing that's logical. Hmm. Also, you know, thing. just one, charity. just one, just one. A challenge between me and you. Just one thing is logical. Mm, like, do not eat pork. Do not eat pork. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you how stupid that is. Why? Because if you say to somebody, "Don't eat pork," you should explain why. Why? Chapter two, verse one seventy-three. You said because you are the one who said. You are the one who said. It is logical, right? Hmm. Okay. What is the logic of saying to me, don't eat pork without telling me why? Ah, but you know, you must believe Allah. He knows for you what is good what he knows. He him. knows nothing. He knows nothing. He knows nothing. We can prove he it easy. No, he knows nothing. He no, my, my friend, my friend, uh, let me show you. Let me show you. Let me show you how funny the logic of Allah. Hmm. If we go in the Quran, in the beginning of the Quran, hmm. we will find this. The same we are talking about, you, you mentioned the pork, that's why I mention it. Hurrimat alaykum al mayyata wa damu wa lahmu al khanzir. Chapter 5, verse number 3. Love with me. Okay. Forbidden for you food or dead meat, blood and the flesh of the flesh of a swine. Okay. He is repeating the same thing. And look what he says here. Here you will see the logic of, of Allah. This day, I have perfected your religion for you. Completed my favor upon you and chosen Islam for you as religion. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is a chapter 5, verse number 3. Okay. How Allah completed Islam for us. That's it. Islam completed by saying, I I, I, I forbid you from eating uh, pork. This, mm. this is Islam. Well, mm. it's not like it's in context, my friend. My friend, it's, 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 it's so clear in front of you. It says, Today, this is my translation. This is the your Muslim translation. This day, I ha have I perfected your religion for you, completed my favor upon you, and this, have it chosen Quran, for you, Islam. No, it's because the people that put the Quran together, they put it in the wrong order. They don't know the order. They just did anything. Thank you very much. Now, do you agree with me? If you put things in the wrong order, this is a corruption. I agree with you. Yes. Okay. So how the Muslim they lie to us and they say Quran is preserved. This is a new fabrication because before this wasn't the Islamic. All right, hold on. 
Uh, but do you have the other one? It's not fabricated. Do you have the other uh, book? Is that, the only uh, book you have one. is this one, we so it's, it's fabricated. We don't have this in heaven. We don't have the right ones. Huh? We don't have the correct Quran because okay, so the Quran is gone. So there's no Quran. There's no Quran. Secondly, today, yeah. this day, I have perfected your religion for you. Is something Muhammad should say at the last day of his life? Yes. This when he was on the cross, he says it's completed. That's it. It's per it's completed. It's done. Muhammad, if this is what he said. If he's if he said that if Muhammad said that he says this day have I perfected your religion for you completed my favor upon you now if the Muslims all of them they agree and I showed you before that the Muslim they say if we agree upon something there's no way it's going to be misguidedness how they agree upon this well you're, you're taking the argument of saying that if everyone agrees if there's ten people in a room and nine of them agree that uh, Muhammad no, is... more Muslims all Muslims agree upon that I never saw a Muslim who's a true believer in Islam he say I don't agree with it because Islam no, like... Islam is a blind religion you don't you don't you, you have no uh, right to question I, I gave you the verse we, we start with it where Muhammad he says whatever the Prophet and Allah this they decide you you take well, right Allah, okay Rasul, but, yes. but but yes. but but why Muhammad did not tell them how to organize the Quran why in the Muslims they have to take a Quran of did, Uthman? did Muhammad leave a Quran before he died never Us, no according to Aisha Us. according to Aisha they have they have a, a few verses the Quran yeah. of, of Hafsa you know there nobody uh, uh, there's many stories about burning many Quran etc by Uthman but however yeah. Uh, that will destroy Islam again because if the Quran is preserved as Allah he promised then the Quran oh. is burned. That will be stupid again, proving Muhammad to be a false prophet. Do you oh, know, it's just a physical. No, because it's it's the, not only no, no. You see, not physical because simply, do you have the other? Not, not the one is not physical. You don't have both, so it's it's gone. No, so, do you remember the story of uh, of uh, of the goat who ate the Quran? Yes, the okay. Rajam and the breastfeeding. The breastfeeding and uh, yeah. So here, the Hadith confirmed to us. That there is there is a goat where while Muhammad was in his death bed, mm. everybody is busy, and this makes sense. You know, people, a man, important man, he dies, so everybody is busy. A lot of people come in, and now Aisha she said, the verse of stoning uh, and the breastfeeding for an adult ten time was revealed, and the paper was with me under the, my pillow. When the Messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with the with his death, and a tam sheep mm. came and ate it. How we can so nobody read this verse before? No one memorized this verse. You can do. Do you know it? Mm, no. no uh, for me to be honest with you, if I know this goat is going to do that, I will shoot it because I want to have this verse of a breastfeeding yeah. for adult, so we can have fun. Me too. You know. Me too, because that would have been good. Because then the Muslim would give us the milk. Hmm. But now, are, are you still a Muslim or not? I I think I am Malik. I reject all hadith. But hmm. but you are rejecting the Quran, the Quran too. I, I basically we don't have the Quran, so there is no Quran. Okay, so you are the Muslim. Why you don't you say I, I am out of Islam? You know, announce yourself, denounce Islam, denounce no, the stupidity. I still believe in God. You know, I, okay, I still my friend, my friend, my friend. Muhammad how you will know Muhammad is a prophet with all the stupid things he said? How how you can do that? No, because the Hadith. Okay, my friend, lies. name for me one thing Muhammad he said is a smart. Mm, smart. You believe in the Hadith, right? Do you believe in the Hadith? I, uh, no, I reject you. Him. Don't believe the hadith. Okay, can you show me one thing Muhammad he said is a smart because in order to accept Muhammad to be a prophet, well, you have to have some knowledge of Muhammad. What Muhammad said to you is a smart. He said, Be kind to your parents. You know, no, this is not a new in the, in the Bible. It says, If you are if you insult your parents, you have to be killed, even you know, this is how bad it is. You know, um... I'm sure he will say something smart. I'm just thinking. Like, wait. like what? Like, let, let me show you. Let me show you how smart your prophet. A man who is a, 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 a man, a man who like is a blind. Hmm? Mm. A man who is a blind. There's a guy who wrote, he came to oh, Muhammad. Sorry, sorry. Came mm. to Muhammad. And uh, 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 he ordered his wife to cover themselves. And they said to him, uh, blind. "But he is blind. Why you want to cover herself?" He said, I know he's a blind, but are you blind too? <laughs> this is a uh, this is Sahih. For sure, it's Sahih. <laughs> Why would Muslims keep this in their books? Like for all these years, did they not uh, reject it? Because... My friend, ask yourself the same question. Why you still believe in Muhammad I now? Reject, he's a prophet. 
I reject this hadith. No, you, no, well, but you reject this hadith, but you did not reject Muhammad yet. Why? Ask yourself the same question. Okay. There's nothing. You have nothing Maybe about him left. Listen, listen, listen. Listen. What you are doing? With my respect to you, you have nothing left of Muhammad. You said you reject the Quran. You accept the Quran. Uh, uh, the Quran is full of um, fairy tale stories and stupidity. The hadith is rejected. So what is left for you about Muhammad? Where, where your Muhammad is coming from? Where? Muhammad is just a messenger. He's not. This is another question. Messenger about what? Where is the message? In order to accept him to be a messenger, Mes where is the message? Where we can uh, find the message of Muhammad for you? If you take away you, if you take away the man and the book, you have nothing left. My friend, you are trying to avoid. You see, you are trying to avoid to answer the question. No, no, you no. Said, I agree. I agree because okay. now you have. Okay, really so realized, so but, so where is Muhammad for you? Why you say I still believe in Muhammad? The Sira, Sira, Sira. The Sira is more full of garbage. I mean, the Sira is the no. most is the most horrible. The the, the biography Ali, of Muhammad Ibn is. Ishaq, Ibn Hisham, they write about Muhammad Ali. My friend, you see, Ibn Hisham when he wrote his uh, uh, Sira, he said that mm. anything. Uh, uh, is not suitable for the prophet we take it off and now after he filter yeah. after the filter is still Muhammad looks so bad so disgusting oh. so now you where you got your prophet from you want to believe in Muhammad where you want to get him from the books of Sirah is a joke full of garbage about Muhammad the book of hadith maybe is full people, of garbage like you know you know maybe Kufar after he died they made up bad stories about him to mislead like Shaitan couldn't you know, make people tell lies in the hadith. This is why. Th th this is not my problem now. You have a problem, my friend. You are still saying Muhammad is a prophet. He's a prophet. Okay, what is a prophecy for Muhammad? Well, a prophecy. Mm -hmm. In order to call somebody prophet, I have you have to be a prophet. In order to call you dentist, you have to work in teeth. What prophecy did he say? Mm -hmm. um, yeah, let me think. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, let me make a prophecy the as Romans, long as you are thinking. I will, I will, I will, let, let me tell you, by the way, I'm a prophet the too. Quran, it says the Quran, mm. the Romans are going to win the war, whatever, that mm. prophecy. That is a stupid that. prophecy. Let me tell you why. The Roman is fighting with the Persian for 300 years. Yes. So correct. the war will not stop until you know one of them will be victorious. And look what happened. Muhammad, he yeah, said, but... Muhammad, he made a mistake. The luck is not helping him. He said, Fee Buddha is sinning. Is, is a is a uh, is a three to nine when you say brother it's a it's a word mean three to nine maximum okay okay maximum is a, is a, uh, is nine minimum is a three but the roman they did not win in 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 three to nine it was it took them a lot longer so uh, uh, and and the story itself is very stupid because you see you are mentioning to me things will make will make everybody laugh you know it's your fault if we go to the chapter of our room, hmm. it says, Who's in the room? Holy battle room, yeah. chapter 30, verse number two. Let us go there. Okay. Alif Lam Meme. What Alif Lam Meme? The Muslim, they say, Allah knows best. Leave that one for alone. Yeah. In the land close by, but they, what do you think it means? What, hold on, Christian. What do you think Aliflam means? Uh, we will go for that because that have to do with the numbers and details. Muhammad he stole that from the Aramaic book, which is from the translation of Waraq ibn Nufal. We will talk about that later. The Roman Empire has been defeated. Okay. And by the way, it doesn't say Roman Empire, it says a room. In the land close by, but they even after the de this defeat in, of there. Soon they will be vanquished. Soon here is not accurate. It says but or Sunin in few years between nine to three. They have to put that within few years with Allah decision in the past. Okay. And then when the when the Roman they will be uh, uh victorious, then the the believers will rejoice. Here, here Muhammad is doing poo, poo. Do you notice why? Well, the believers will rejoice because why why would the Muslims rejoice because if the Romans win thank you very much at that yeah. moment at that moment Muhammad was a hypocrite and he was claiming that he is a Nasara yeah. Nasara yeah he was claiming to be what Nasara this why he will be he, this why he will rejoice what does it mean Nasara not Nasara he claimed to be he, 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 he uh, Muhammad he understand that the word Nasara mean Christian which is false so he thought the Roman is Nasara and he is Nasara. So now they told him, okay, here we go. <laughs> you know, uh, the Nasara, your people, they lost. Okay, what, they lost. What about the end time prophecies? My friend, you know? uh, uh, we can answer one by one. 
your your people they lost he so he said like he was like like he felt insulted okay so he oh, said oh, okay they will win Allah he just told me they will win, win in a few years and he used the word Buddha which means three to nine then, nine. Okay. Yeah, and then we calculate the numbers. We will, they will find that this was a lot more than nine. So Muhammad get busted again. And in the, in the top of that, he said that in that day the believers shall rejoice. How you can rejoice? The, 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 isn't it you who want to do jihad against the Roman because they are kuffar later? Yeah, but this is Allah talking. So my friend, no, no problem. Allah, Allah talking. This is make it more horrible because why the believers will rejoice for the victory of the Roman? Because they are Nasara, so they believe the Romans should win to establish Christianity in the Roman. So Empire. Allah, Allah like uh, Christianity to be established. Is yes, it Muhammad a few is. years after he decided to go and attack the Roman, and he said, "Attack the Roman and get the blondie girls." Yes. So how he want to kill them, and now he rejoiced for them because this man is a hypocrite. When he is in the beginning, he tried to make himself look like a Jew. So he was praying to Jerusalem. The Jews refused him. He tried to be with the Nasara. His wife, Muslim, agreed that Khadija was Nasara. So he tried, and obviously he married according to Nasara marriage. Obviously, because Nasara will not marry a man unless he is a Nasara like them. Okay, so but they said in the hadith that Muhammad is Sabian. The hadith says that Muhammad was a Sabian. Muhammad was from yeah. Muhammad like Obama. Obama, he sit with the atheist, he make fun of the Bible, he go with the Muslims, he recite Quran. He go to Israel. He he wear the hat of the Jews. He pray in the front of the the temple. Okay, so maybe Muhammad is just like a political leader, and he just wants. He's a scam. So. He's a scam. He's not a political leader. He's a scam. He's trying to establish his scam. As simple as that. He changed his color. He changed then, his clothes. The bent in the location. He's talking to who? You know. Why and, would he do all this? Why would he do all this? Because he's a scam. Oh. I mean, you want to ask a scam? Why he's a scam? He's a scam. You know, he want to scam you. He want to fool you. But he, he's created a whole religion to send all these people to, to disbelieve. Why? It doesn't make sense because like what benefit does he have he have all the benefit he got the women he got the money he got the glory he became a king he was no oh, one they say that muhammad muhammad was poor he would dirty tie stones my friend stomach, it's a big fat fast. lie it's a big fat lie Al lillahi wa rasuluhu. every from every attack the the oh. fifth from the attack is to muhammad let me make a little calculation for you yes yes if we yes, have we, yes hold on yes, hold on hold on hold on if we have if we have uh uh oh. Ten thousand, ten thousand dollars, ten thousand oh. dollars. Okay, it is thousand in Muhammad. Ten thousand dollars is 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 the money the Muslims they were able to uh, steal from the Jewish uh, attack or Quraysh oh. attack. Okay, right. If Muhammad will take the fifth, let us say there is ten thousand soldier, ten thousand fighter. Oh. Okay. If Muhammad he took the fifth, what is the fifth of ten thousand? Two thousand. Two thousand, right? Okay, two thousand to Muhammad alone. Yeah, eight thousand left over between the ten thousand army. It's not really fair. Now, but this is because if, now listen. If one, now, now, ooh, now this, if we divide the re the rest, that will be eight thousand on ten thousand people. That's right. mean each one of them he did receive less than eighty cents. Right. <laughs> Muhammad he took two thousand, you know, mm. two thousand for his pocket alone. They'll, they'll get eight, about eight hundred each or something like that. Yeah. What eight hundred? If you divide the ten thousand between, oh no, you're right. No, eight cents. Yeah, this is oh, this is stupid. This 80, is not fair. Eighty cents. They will take eighty cents each. So how they say Muhammad was poor? What is the poor? How what did he do with the money? If, if Muhammad, my friend, what he do with the women money? The Muslim they lie to us. They say Muhammad Aisha she received one hundred thousand piece of gold as a gift for his her her her, her marriage, you know, uh, uh, occasion. Uh, Aisha she insists that Muhammad when he come to the house only there they send the gift. People send gift non-stop. That's a lie. Imagine you. Says, do you accept really? Hold on, hold on. Use your logic. Wait, hold on. Listen. Do you, use your logic. Do you think really? That Muhammad is a leader of more than a hundred thousand people, fighters, including their family, which means that we did not add the number of the family. And then Muhammad himself, he have no no food, and Muhammad himself have no money. But yet he have thirteen wives, he have tons of slaves to feed, and he have the fit from every attack. And the Muslim, he cannot even come to Muhammad without paying him in a private consultation. Really? 
Sure, the Quran says that. You don't know that? Oh yeah, yeah, I did. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, yeah. You cannot, mm. you cannot meet with Muhammad. If I am Muhammad yeah, now, yeah. The, the the meter will be charging. You know, your bill will be like like a two thousand dollars already. You know, so mm. uh, if you if you want to meet with Muhammad before you meet with him. Muhammad, imagine, imagine, Allah, he made yeah, a verse yeah, like why this. Would people, why would people follow him then? Why would people, if they are poor themselves? My friend, who, how, how who, who follow him? You know, the one who follow Muhammad as the gang, Sa'aliq. Have you ever heard of Sa'aliq? Yeah, the people who raided the caravans. Yeah, those are the Sa'aliq. He wrote, he wrote a letter to the to the to the Sa'aliq of Tuhama, saying to them, yeah. "Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh min Muhammad etc." To the to the Sa'aliq. If you, if you know, if you obey me, if you join me, uh, you you have my protection. If you make me your leader, Saaliq, Saaliq, out the outlaw. Like in America, they show you outlaw, a bunch of bandit uh, thieves. Yeah, those are the one who joined Muhammad, and this is the one who scared the hell of everybody around him. And those are criminals. They are tough. This is what they do for a living. Okay. You know, if you have, like if, if I, yeah, if I bring to you now, uh, uh, ten men from the Italian mafia. And we are mm -hmm. we are fifty good men. Who is the one will scare who? Uh, yeah. The criminals. Yeah. They are criminals. They they they, they, they don't they, they, they don't have any any ethic. So Muhammad he used them, and he you know he's about money. They they, they like that. So he told this, them. This is, remind me of the jizya because I was thinking about jizya. Why do we charge the Christians and Jews for jizya? And uh, now that you tell me this, it makes sense. It's all about the money. Yeah, the, the, the jizya, I see. Muhammad, he wanted the jizya because he wanted to make money. If he cared for God, he should not allow the Christians. Man. Yeah. If, if, I, if I am a prophet who is fighting kufr, how I accept mm. the Christian to worship the wrong God just by paying me money? Do Allah need money? You know? No. Yeah, that's false. Anyway, my mm. friend, I invite you to say Islam is a false religion right now, and I invite you to accept the Messiah if you wish to do so. Choose one of I them. Which I, one? I which one you want to do? Study. Which one you want to do first? I, need, I think I want to study a bit more. But just, don't you want to? De, don't you want to denounce Islam first to say Islam is false first? I don't know because I already said like I'm iffy about the Quran and I reject the Hadith. But so you are out of Islam. So thank you very much. You are out of Islam. I'm so happy for you. Feel free <laughs> to call me anytime you want. We will give All a right. chance for more callers to call. You know. Yeah, because I wanted to talk a different debate. Okay, you can text me next time if you want to talk. Okay, you can you can text me. I don't text people. I, I text yeah. you back because you okay. said to me you want to talk to me. That's why I do. All right. Okay, I'll text. You. Feel free to call much. me anytime. No problem. Thank you. Now I see I see some some Muslims in the text. They are calling us bad words. Why you don't call me, my friend? Who is the Muslim want to call me? 